now we see the application of nikula method for two digit numbers other than multiples of 9 we take an example divide 21 by 9 so when we divide 9 twos are 18 and after subtraction we get 3 so here the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 3 now we do the same division in a simpler way using Nicola method so in the given number two digit number the first digit always gives the quotient so here 2 is the quotient and the sum of the digits of the dividend gives us the remainder that is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 is it not the simple way we take second example divide 80 by 9 9 eights are 72 so after subtraction we get 8 that means quotient is 8 remainder is 8. The same division we do by Nicola method. It's very simple. The given dividend is 80. So the first digit of the dividend is quotient. Here it is 8 and the sum of the digits of the dividend is remainder. That means 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. So we have a quotient and remainder. Now we see the application of this Nicola method for three digit numbers. The first example divide 113 by 9. 113 is the dividend. We divide this number into two parts 11 and 3. The first part is quotient part second one is remainder part. Take the first digit of the quotient part and write it under the second digit. Add the first and the second digits of the quotient part and write it under the remainder part. Now add the numbers in both the parts. So the remainder is equal to 5 and the quotient is equal to 12. This ends the division process by Nicola method. We take second example. Divide 214 by 9. Here the dividend is 214. We divide this number into two parts, 21 and 4. The first part is quotient part. And the second one is the remainder part. Now we write the first digit of the quotient under the second digit. That means 2 is written under 1. Add the digits of the quotient part and write it under the remainder part. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 written under 4. Now add the numbers of both the parts 23 and 7. Therefore, quotient is equal to 23 and remainder is equal to 7. This ends the division process by Nicola method. Now we see some special cases in this Nicola method. We take an example. Divide 27 by 9. Here the dividend is 27. It is divided into two parts. The first part is quotient and the second part is remainder. Now add the digits of the quotient and write under remainder. There is only one digit so 2 is written under 7. Add the digits under both the parts so 2 and 9. Now the number in the remainder part is 9. If the number in the remainder part is 9 or more than 9, we continue the division process. So here it is. The remainder here is 0 and the quotient is 1. 
this remainder whatever we got in the second division process we write under the remainder column and the quotient whatever we got that is 1 here must be added to the previous quotient so 2 plus 1 gives 3 therefore the final quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0 this ends the division process by Nicola method we take another example divide 517 by 9 dividend here is 517 divide this into two parts the first part is quotient and the second part is remainder now write the first digit of the quotient under the second digit so 5 is written under 1 now add both the digits of the quotient and write under remainder part 5 plus 1 6 is written under 7 add the numbers under both the parts 51 plus 5 is 56 7 plus 6 is 13 now observe the number here in the remainder part which is greater than 9 so we continue the division process 13 is divided by 9 9 ones are 9 and 4 is the remainder quotient is 1 this remainder 4 is written as it is in the remainder part and the quotient 1 is added to the quotient part 56 plus 1 gives 57 therefore final quotient is equal to 57 and the remainder is 4 this ends the division process by Nicola method here is another example divide 12 lakhs 212 by 9 so the dividend is 12 lakhs 212 it is divided into two parts the quotient part and the remainder part write the first digit of the quotient part under the second digit one is written under two add first and second digits of the quotient part and write under the third digit one plus two is three it is written under zero add first second and third three digits of the quotient part and write under the fourth digit of the quotient you continue this procedure at one stage we add all the digits of the quotient part and write under the remainder part so 6 is written under 2 now we add the numbers in both the parts 1 3 3 3 5 6 and 8 observe the number in the remainder part 8 which is not equal to 9 and which is not greater than 9 therefore directly we can write the answers as the quotient is 1,33,356 and the remainder is 8 so this ends the division by Nicola method